My first guest tonight signed an order ending the federal government's moratorium on coal mining leases on federal land. And here to talk about the Trump administration's energy independence plan, the border wall, and much more is the new U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zenke, a former member of the House, a Navy SEAL for 23 years. And congratulations, Mr. Secretary, on your appointment and confirmation. Uh, you've got to be, uh, I, I would imagine, uh, thrilled and, uh, and, and chomping at the bit. Well, it's a high honor, and we're going to get things done at the Department of Interior. I would expect nothing less uh, from Ryan Zenke. Well, let's turn to the orders uh, that uh, signed on the uh, moratorium on coal mining leases. This turns the Obama era upside down uh, and moves us further toward energy independence, does it not? Well, it does. And why is energy independence important? One, national security. We don't want to be held hostage by foreign entities. Uh, secondly is the economy. You have to have reliable, affordable, abundant energy to manufacture in this country. We can't compete with wages with China where we can compete with energy to make sure that we can, as a, as a nation, can move forward in the economy. And lastly, the environment. It is better to produce energy here under reasonable regulation than watching it produced overseas with no regulation. As a former SEAL, I've seen it. You want to look at at catastrophes environmentally, look at the Middle East, look at Africa. We can do it better at a lower cost point here. And earlier this month, uh, you announced the department will be offering more than 70 uh, million acres, uh, Texas, Louisiana, the, uh, the Gulf region, uh, for, uh, for gas and oil uh, exploration. I, I mean, these are un, almost unimagined possibilities uh, in every election for going back a, a number of years. Uh, this is truly, uh, uh, it is truly a landmark uh, moment in our, uh, our history, our business history as well. Well, it should be. And one is we need the infrastructure. That means we need to stop stranding our assets, icing our assets. That means railroad systems, pipelines, powers to make sure we're more efficient in what we do. And the other thing is make sure we have an inventory of what our wealth is. And the president is a huge supporter of the environment, making sure we have clean air, clean water. All of us strive for that. But we also should recognize that jobs matter. The social cost of not having an economy is, is huge. It will cripple our country. And so jobs matter. The environment matters. But also energy independence and being able to transport energy if you want to check Russia, then transport liquid natural gas to Eastern Europe. If you want to check Iran, then transport and subplant every drop of crude. That's how you win. Uh, that's how you win, and uh, you have uh, many battles to win uh, ahead of you, and not the least of them, the border wall, where you're going to be confronted, uh, as you are on a number of other issues, by environmental groups. You're being uh, confronted by opposition. Uh, in, in, within uh, the Congress of the United States, the Congress and the Senate. Uh, the border wall, uh, we're being told that it may not be able to move forward at quite the speed the president had wanted. Uh, what, uh, what does the Secretary of Interior say about that wall, its funding, and its progress? We're going to build the wall. The president has, has given clear direction that we're going to build the wall. He's placed in, in command. Secretary Kelly, uh, that I knew as a four-star general, there is no finer person to put in that position. You know, for, uh, for my part, uh, we need to consult with the tribes that are along the border. We have a, a national park there that already has a wall. It's got about, about a 120-foot cliff uh, there. We had the Rio Grande. Uh, we're going to build a wall. We're going to make sure our border is secure. As the president has said, it's the right decision for this country. And, and I've often said, a nation without a border cannot exist. We need to follow the law, make sure that our borders are secure. That's for national defense, and, and that is the right path for America. Yeah, and it is, it is the promise of the president. It now stands as an avatar for the entire administration, the, the presidency of uh, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, it, it's critically uh, urgent to do so. And no other political figure, uh, Mr. Secretary, as you well know, uh, and certainly no president before him had ever linked that border and the fact that it is uh, where the majority 
of methamphetamines, marijuana, cocaine, and heroin cross into this country. Uh, and it is critical that we control that border uh, for the sake of uh, millions and millions of American lives. Absolutely, uh, and human trafficking. And, uh, the, and the border oh, yes, is incidentally, a travesty. Illegal immigration. Uh, absolutely yeah. correct. So how soon is the wall built? I would say uh, with General Kelly, again, he's the supported commander. I'm the supporting commander on that. Uh, Kelly wants to get it done. The president wants to get it done. We're going to get the, the, the wall done. I think, I think it won't take more than a, a couple years of putting together we have. The wall mm -hmm. in some areas, you know, when you have the, the Rio Grande, you have, again, the park. You have, you have some natural health. Nations. Ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we want to secure the border. And I tell you, General Kelly is on it. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful uh, for General Kelly and, and Mattis. I fought with Mattis in Fallujah. He, with, with the exception of me, he picked a great cabinet.